What's up, good people? It's your man's. I'm back with you, as always. I'm actually sitting here smoking a cigar called The King is Dead by Caldwell. Uh, it's supposed to be uh, a little bit of sweetness and it's supposed to have a little bit of spice, which I have to say, they got both in spades. Um, they, just the heat is a little bit better, that's for sure. Yeah, I'm digging it. But to me, this is an after you eat smoke. This isn't, um, to me, this isn't something that you would, this isn't a morning smoke, in my opinion. But it tastes good. So far, so good. Uh, burn is, you know, even. But I, I'm one of them people. I like to see it got my cigar burning. I like to see it burning even. So I tend to do my little touch ups, you know. But for the most part, this is not bad at all. <sighs> Today happens to be the day that the government shutdown is officially over. That being said, uh, it probably never should have started considering that they're no further, you know, toward either person, either party's agenda. Uh, so at this point, the country lost. You know, they were the biggest losers in this instance. Um, but it is over now, at least until February, uh, what they say, the 13th, I think. So at this stage in the game, the people are actually going to get their checks and they can get their bills paid. I personally think it would have been a worse situation if them food stamps had got cut off. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not hating on the federal workers. I got a couple friends of mine that works at TSA and some other parts of the government who uh, were furloughed or weren't getting paid at all. Uh, however, uh, the food stamp situation would have probably thrown the country out of control. And I think, you know, with the news of the airplanes going down, well, not going down, but <clears throat> I think with the news of the air traffic control is not being paid and with TSA agents you know not being paid I think that changed the whole dynamic you know in addition to the fact that you know <laughs> they picked up the president's boy at 5 a.m. I think that might have been an extra tipping point I know some would disagree with me and say ah, you know he was gonna do it anyway I don't know you know when your boy get ready like he already go to jail you know, and you need to get that attention off of you. A situation like this would be a pretty good diversion, I think. Uh, so opening up the government was a great idea. For whatever reason he arrived at to do it, it happened. Uh, I got my views on the wall or whatever. And, you know, here's my thing. <laughs> I think the wall situation would have worked in some instances. I think the president right about that. It would have worked but it only have, would have worked for certain people, you know. Yeah, it will make stop a caravan from coming over, you know. It may stop that. But the people that's coming over here, the majority, are coming through the regular ports of entry, and they just super smooth about it. They just super smooth about it, you know. So, you know, and the other ones are getting the documents made, and they're flying right into the country, you know. It, you know, them people over there that's selling dope they need to get to the United States they got money to get documents made you know and so most of them don't have to walk they just don't you know to me if you really wanted to sell the idea of the government shutdown you would have taken me to the border and showed me a bunch of people trying to cross that's what would have got his wall real talk usually I don't broach topics like this because I know it gets you know people panties in a knot I, I get it and I'm not you know on one side of the situation or the other I'm just examining it for what it is you know, I think if the president wants his wall, and it sounds like he do, if he wants his wall, 
it just seems to me like he should really just instead of just talking about these people that's trying to enter the country illegally and that they're bringing drugs and violence and so forth i think he should just really show the people show me these people trying to get over here we have the technology we got cameras colin powell showed us a dot on a rock from space i'm sure you can show me the video of these people trying to cross the border where there are nobody there to stop them you know if you really want to sell me on something or sell the overall uh, population on this idea not just your base but everybody I think that would be some pretty compelling evidence as to why we would need it um, you know but again I'm not here to force the president's agenda I'm just saying if that's the agenda these might be the tools that you need to use because real talk whether he gets the wall or not the country's going to run it's going to run from what i understand uh, we lost what six billion dollars over the course of 30 days in tax revenue and so forth and so on you know and so in retrospect the country didn't fall apart over the shutdown and chances are it's not going to fall apart over the wall uh, but if this wall turns out to be $60 billion when it's finished, then yeah, I think that has uh, some serious, uh, you know, I think that's got some serious issues with that. But beyond that, give the man a damn wall. I mean, you know, but don't be trying to reshut the government down if you don't get exactly what you asked for. You know, particularly you ain't got no plan to go into details about how you're going to fucking spend the money anyway you got a plan on how to spend the 1.7 they originally offered but you haven't quite given us enough insight in terms of where the rest of the money is going to go you make sure you told us where it ain't going but you're not exactly telling us where it is going and i think that's part of the argument you know and you really just don't feel like arguing with pelosi you don't feel like you really need to ask a woman shit that's the real deal you don't want to ask her a motherfucking thing what he really want to say is, bitch, write the goddamn wall paperwork so we can get the fuck on with this. <clears throat> That's what he really want to say. But he can't say that, so he has to find other uh, workarounds to try to get to the point. And I don't think that's going to make it either. So we'll see what happens. But right now, thank God that the federal workers are back to work. I'm glad that they got this stuff together because I got a flight leaving in a minute. And I don't want to have to deal with some disgruntled motherfuckers who haven't got their cheese. So big ups to <laughs> President Trump and everybody that was involved with help make this happen, you know. And just on another note, that was kind of funny to me. It's crazy, right? Some of the FBI agents, well, not some of them, but all of the FBI agents that raided Roger Stone's career, they wasn't being paid either. So there are some people out there that's willing to do their job to get their check. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Can't blame their ass for that. <laughs>